Hi, I'm Pat and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to set up the BMW i8 to show the coolant temperature as I'm driving down the road to see exactly what this thermostat is doing while the car is being driven. If you're new to the channel, please click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications and be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps. Now recently, Heidi and Franny's Garage put out a video that talked about the thermostat and the temperature sensor and the engine control module and how they all decide how to open and close the thermostat on the BMW i8. Because it's an electrically controlled thermostat, it has the ability to be opened or closed depending on driving conditions or how BMW wants to manage emissions. So today I'm going to show you exactly what you got to do to bring up the coolant temperature on the dash and be able to monitor it as we drive around in sport mode. Now Sam Crack put out his video where he drove his BMW i8 around and he showed that it overheated. Well just prior to that Sam reached out and said Pat how do I actually see what my coolant temperature is instead of having to hook up all kinds of diagnostic equipment. And I said Sam there's a way to see it and it's in the service menu. In order to get to the service menu on the dash of the BMW i8, you've got to take the last five digits of your VIN, each individual digit, add them up, and that's the number that you need to use to unlock the service menu. So my last five digits added up to 24. So I'm going to walk through the process of displaying that coolant temperature information by unlocking the service menu. The first thing we need to do is press and hold the trip reset button for about 10 seconds and then we'll get to see our service menu come up. There we are. Now if we momentarily press until we get down to unlock, we press and hold for 3 seconds and it prompts us for the code. That code, well that's the 5 last digits of the VIN added up. So we're going to press this. 24 times in my case. There's 24, so I'm going to press and hold for three seconds. And then I'm going to come down to temperature, and I'm going to press and hold for three seconds. And now I get to see the important information that I'm looking for. I see the coolant and the oil temperature. There's even a battery temperature there. So we're looking at the coolant temperature right now at 12 degrees centigrade and the oils at 15. It's kind of weird to see that they're, they're actually different right now. I don't understand why that's the case. But at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the car into sport mode. And as it starts up, that coolant temperature should actually rise off at of 12 degrees Celsius. There we go, it's already up to 13, 14. So what I'm going to do is actually take this for a ride and then see exactly what this does as I'm driving. And there is some sun out today, so I apologize for the glare on the instrument panel. I do have my GoPro set up in order to record the information there, but clearly it's, uh, it's going to be impacted by the sun. And as you can see, as I'm driving in sport mode, I'm just driving around the speed limit and I'm going up and down some hills right now. I'm being very gentle with the throttle. I really don't want to shock the system with a whole lot of heat right now. And at the same time, I want to see exactly what this coolant will do, or the coolant temperature will do, as we're driving normally. Now we've only driven about a mile and so far the uh, temperature's already come up to 50 degrees Celsius. I'm going to have to put my hand here in order to shade the uh, instrument panel because there's just too much glare to be able to capture exactly what's going on on the GoPro right now. I'm 
starting to pull a little bit of a hill here. So we're putting additional load on the engine right now. And I just turned around and be heading back the same way that I just came. Again, I'm just driving normally, not really pushing the car too hard, so we get to see exactly what happens with the uh, coolant temperature under normal conditions. So we've traveled downhill for quite a stretch, now we're heading back uphill. So we'll be putting another load on the engine as we're pulling the hill here. And we get to see those temperatures climb now up to 80 degrees centigrade. We're starting to approach 100 degrees Celsius. There we go, 101. And now it's taken a very fast dive through the 90s, through the 80s, into the 70s. There we stopped at about 74, 75 degrees Celsius. So it looks like the thermostat opened for a short period of time in order to bring the temperature down into the 70s. Now I am currently stopped at a red light, about ready to make a turn onto a faster road. So at this point, we'll be able to get the car up to a higher speed and then see what happens with the thermostat then. So I'm currently traveling downhill and now in a flat section. And I have additional cooling because I'm traveling at speed. Although I have a feeling that the thermostat might have opened because we took a quick dive back down to uh, the 70s. And now I think the thermostat is closed and we're heading back up through the 80s. As I'm driving along, I'm slowly coming up to a point where I'll be climbing uphill. So there'll be an additional load back on the engine once again. Coming up to a stop here, going to make a turn. Once again, now we're heading back down. <laughs> so it definitely looks like the thermostat wants to open around 100 degrees Celsius and then close around 75 degrees Celsius. I 
Now I'm going to do a manual control of the vehicle. And I'm going to do a few pulls here. It's an empty road. And see what happens. Of course, <laughs> trying to cover it up so it doesn't... Uh, Get any reflection here, but it's the best we can do. Okay. As you can see, we're hanging around 80 degrees now. It's low 70s, high 80s, or uh, high 70s, low 80s. So the thermostat definitely wants to open when the car predicts that I'm actually going to be driving more sportily. <laughs> As soon as it thinks that I'm going to stay high in the rev range and I'm going to definitely be pulling a lot more uh, power or requesting a lot more power, it's definitely opening that thermostat more. So it's definitely uh, deciding to make a decision based upon my input. So I believe this pretty much wraps up what I wanted to accomplish today. Uh, which was driving the car around, being able to show you what the thermostat is doing and how to view the coolant temperature. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I'll be posting more cool car content. Thanks for watching and happy motoring.